a demand from the students may exist, maybe 10 years down the below or 20 years down the below. So knowledge provision, knowledge management now becomes knowledge facilitation. Role changes in education system also. The role player, learner, teacher, and instructional designer, and in information specialist has become in the past, it is a knowledge adoption, and today it is knowledge production, and tomorrow it is knowledge navigation. Teacher, earlier he was teaching only, now learning facilitation. For these topics, these are the websites that you have to see. Today, only that is required. And uh, in most of the cases, at least I have faced some of the teachers where the students know more than, much more than the teachers in some cases. I'll give you a small example. In 84, when I was uh, studying my master's degree in computer science, I, that was the first instance where we have a Unix-based machine the graphics terminal, OMC computer, located in our university, St. Louis University, Hyderabad. Then uh, our teacher who was teaching us data structures. One day, the engineers from OMC have come. They wanted to uh, see that there is some problem in the machine. They wanted to open that and then see that. We are all very enthusiastically went to the computer center to see what is there inside the computer, where the processor is there, where is the graphics terminal, where is the graphics processor is there way back in 85. Then we were very curiously asking, where is the memory, where is the graphics chip is there located in that SOC, all those things we keep on asking, bugging the engineers to find out what it is. And finally my teacher asked to the engineer, can you tell me where is the Photon compiler? We were shocked. As a student, if he is teaching me one subject and he has asked me, Okay, where is the photon compiler in a, after opening the computer in the hardware? So obviously, we'll find what type of teacher he is. So same thing, uh, when I was studying a microprocessor design course, that was the first time we insisted the faculty to take, not to teach 8085, but to teach 8086. At the time, there were no teachers to teach even 8085 microprocessors also. Then uh, when we started our demanding for 8086, then uh